Hello guys and this is the fifth video of the CryEngine game development series and today I want to show you how you can text your terrain and fix that no surface type error. So to start off you want to go ahead and go over to the texture tab over here and we've got the terrain texture layers. What this uses is a basic layer system. You'll be familiar with that if you use like the uh, UDK layer system or Adobe Photoshop and I'll use you to show you how to use Adobe Photoshop in a couple of videos time so you can make your own uh, textures for your game so to start off you want to have a look at some of the things here and some of the buttons so you've got add layers, delete layers, move up, move down, assign materials and then change the layer texture and this little preview so if I go ahead and click it you'll see you've got the preview here so if I just press Control G no, no need uh, if you look down the ground you've got that very texture so you're going to want to go ahead and change that that can be done really easily all you've got to do is just click the material over here and you'll get to the material editor so I'm going to expand the materials folder and I'm going to go browse and find a material and under terrain I found a nice grass material that I like so once I've got that I'm going to right click and press uh, select assign objects over here you've got a bunch of settings that you can change it, you've got your bump map, you've got your diffuse surface type, opacity all that cool stuff and uh, over here you've got like a little preview of what the material will look like so I'm going to go over to the texture tab again and I'm going to make sure I click it and then you press assign material uh, one second and you'll see that that has changed in your perspective view so if I go down to the ground and zoom in you don't get that cool block effect anymore so I'm just going to press control G and if I aim down at the ground sorry I died there if I aim down at the ground and shoot it you don't get that no surface like error anymore but you're probably thinking that is too white too bright and yeah to be grass and we're going to need to change some of the color effects that can be done really easily uh, over here you can add a new layer if you want to and I'll tell you the reasons why you want to do that in a second and in the roll up bar over here on the terrain tab you want to go to your layer paint a bit and over here you've got a bunch of settings you can you can change as you can see here we've got that ring which we which we use when we were sculpting the terrain or, or just like changing the shape, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's what we'll be using to paint. So if I go ahead and click, it's going all brown, and that's not the sort of color they're going to want. So first of all, I want to change some of the settings. You can change the radius of the brush. So if I change that to 400, you can see that's relatively big. Uh, big. And if we go down, change back to something like 19, that's about what we're going to be using. You're going to want to change it to a smaller size if you're going to be doing something a little more precise. So over here you've got the layers. If you add a new layer you can see it in there but we're not going to use that at the moment. You've got your mask by which will mean you will only be able to paint on certain layers. So we're going to go ahead and change the color of our brush. So we're going to make a nice green color for the uh, grass and that looks about right and this will change the color of the texture as well so it won't just be a green ring so if we go ahead and paint that on now press control G and I died again you'll see we've got a more realistic looking grass you can use different layers so you can have different materials like sand here uh, dirt there, gr uh, grass there, whatever you want. So I'm just going to go back to the layer painter. Over here you've got the brightness. So let's say I'm going to go get a green. I'm going to go get a really dark green. As you can see here that's pretty much almost black. And it's different to the other one. You can adjust the brightness. So if I go ahead and do that, it has adjusted the brightness. It's not the same. You can either adjust it in the color tab and uh, play around with some of the settings you can enter your own custom colors if you know it off by heart with like RGB, 
CubeSat, stuff like that. And yeah, so you're going to want to paint your terrain that you've made in this video. And I'm going to show you how to add your own materials in the next one. So that's about all I want to show in this video. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, like, and subscribe. And yeah, have fun. Goodbye.